All right, guys, so let's load a model here. We're going to go with my Christmas Grogu here. Cute little guy. Um, if you guys haven't watched my video on the basics of the bamboo slicer, you guys can catch that on the top right corner of the screen coming up right now. In this video, we're going to talk about the AMS. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to do is obviously drop your model here. Now what you want is to have already in your mind what kind of colors this guy's going to have, okay? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to this filament, okay, up here to your slicer. You're going to click on the plus and you're going to add a, uh, a color, okay? So what you guys can do is let's go here first. I'm going to click on the number one right here and I'm just going to select red because that's what I want. Okay, and number two, I want this to be white. All right, so I know I have red for his suit, white for the outside right here, and he's going to be green. So I'm going to add one more, and I'm going to make that this green. Okay, just because I want to know what colors I want him to have. Okay. Now, the AMS allows you to have four colors. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that and maybe have, um, I don't know, there you go, blue, right? Maybe he's going to have a blue present. So now I'm going to click on the model, and you see this color painting right here? I'm going to click on that. And now, okay, what we're going to take a look at is the filaments in this particular order. This is the order that your AMS is, sh should have. So your filament in number one should have red, the second one should have white, and the third one should have green, and the fourth one should have blue. This is very important because if you put a different color other than here, it's not going to look like what you did in the model. Okay, so now I'm going to just click on this, number two, and I can adjust my paint, my pen size, and I can start painting now. Okay, I'm just going to left click and hold and I am going to now be able to paint the model how I want. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do now. And that's how we do the Christmas Grogu. Okay. Now say that happens. All you got to do is press shift and it should erase that as well. Okay. So now you can just adjust your pen size and paint whatever it is that you need to paint. Again, make sure that your AMS matches the colors that you have on your, um, in this order. Okay. So after we do that, we can go ahead and go, go to green, right? And I'm going to now paint his face green or paint him green. Whoa, that's a really dark green, but whatever, that's okay. I'm just trying to make a point here. Now, I want you guys to see a little bit. Make sure that when you guys are coloring, that you fill it in completely. Okay, if, you, if I had missed coloring all of this, the machine would have said, okay, well, there's red there, right? And now it's going to keep changing colors. So make sure that you fill it in completely. Okay, now what you guys can do too is you can click this button and it's fill. And I can just click on that. But sometimes it doesn't do it completely. It's, uh, it's still got issues. All right, so I just like to do, see, look, it missed his eyebrow right there. You know what I mean? So this whole fill thing isn't, um, it's not 100%. So I like to just, you know, take my time um, and, and really do the, 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 uh, the details here. See, look, if I, if I would have missed that, it would have added so much more time to the print, mainly because it has to switch colors every single time at this particular layer, right? And you see how right there, 
all of that. You got to get all of that. Otherwise, it's going to not read it and it's going to have a much, it's, it's just going to take that much longer to print. Okay. And now, see, look, we got to go back to red and I got to color his hat back in there. So that's how you do the AMS, okay? Now after you color it in, after you're happy with it, make sure you guys go back to um, your presets and your, your, your uh, settings for your print. And that's how you guys um, print your, or that's how you guys use your AMS. And now it's gonna do um, its thing again. The most important part is you have to have this in order of what filament is in your AMS. Okay, so that's how you guys use the AMS system for the bamboo slicer. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, to, if we guys want this, uh, this particular file, it's at nicoindustries.com. You guys can grab 800 plus files on there for 10 bucks a month. All right, I'll catch you guys later.